<sighs> What's going on, y'all, man? It's your main ugly man back in child with a little another vid. You know what I'm saying? I can see I went a little 15. This was footage from the other day. I actually went on a 18 and turn. And let me tell you something. I didn't even lose. This, this what happened, right? So I beat the dude like the last dude I played, and I was about to send him a message and talk trash, right? <laughs> you know, so I'm always talking shit, whatever. And this what happened. You see this on the screen right here? This not the game, but this what happened. It was froze and wouldn't let me get that off the screen. And so it just kept that on the screen the whole game and then I got graded out, bro. I was so mad, bro. She made me mad. But it ain't, it ain't let me let me get back to the topic of the video. This is the best this is the the um I can't talk right now. The top three archetypes in the game. And then I'm gonna do after I do top three archetypes, I'm gonna do top three best Tools lineups in the game. So we're gonna go. We're gonna start with um the best archetypes. All right. So look, I said I'm only doing three. I, it was this was kind of hard, bro. It was kind of hard for me to like narrow it down, bro. Look at this nigga reaching. But it was kind of hard. But this uh, at third, and this it's in order. At third, I got I got the I got the period point forward, bro. I it's so versatile, bro. People, like, I remember at the beginning of the year, I did not think period point fours could shoot, bro. Boy, did they prove me wrong, boy. I did not, like, I, I was like, oh, they have 70. They, they can't shoot. You can, listen, you can shoot with any archetype on this game. You just have to know your shot. And if you buy boosts, it's raps. Like, like they're, they can shoot, like, consistently. Like, let's say you buy boosts. They three is like a 75, 76. You buy boosts. What, that's what, an 80? And you get hot, you're not missing a shot. You're not missing, so it's just, it's just that's what I got number three. I mean, and you make them six ten to six ten pure point four, not not just a regular pure point four, a six ten pure point four. Some could argue six eight pure playmaker, cause you see, you get anger break on Hall of Fame, but I mean, it ain't that big of a difference. So six ten pure point four and number three, and you got two. This was kind of hard for me. I mean, it yeah, it was, it was kind of hard. I got the shot creating post score. And I and I got I got the shot creating post score because like bro, you 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 can't do like you cannot do anything like you you can't school back they 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 haven't made anybody can shoot millions and especially if it's an eighty they can shoot it. I mean you can't school it up, spin move, post spin Hall of Fame, drop step Hall of Fame like there's nothing you could you see how see how I'm bullying him right there. That's what shot creator post scores do all the time, bro. Like you, you, there's nothing you can do. You just have to hope you get a start, bro. You, you can't do nothing, bro. It's so hard to go, especially the one v one court or twos. It just, it don't make no sense, bro. Like they're, they're so hard. I remember in the beginning of the year, I remember I played a shot creating post score. He was 92. When I tell you he killed me, bro, he hit me with so many step backs and po that was this was back when I wasn't that good. Like he hit me, he hit me with so many post shots and step backs, bro. I, I was so frustrated, bro. He was like, I couldn't guard him. Like, that was the first time I was like, I cannot guard somebody. Like, that was the first time, but I was like, I cannot guard him. I wish I still had that dude's name, but yeah. So I created post score number two. And then, well, I was throwing some bullshit. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. And number one, man, y'all should probably know. This was debatable. This was debatable. But I put the, I put the pure stretch in number one, bro. It's it's just, bro. You get a pure stretch, right? You do the animation glitch. You get the cradle. Only put the cradle dunks on, bro. Say goodbye. You, you you can't guard it, bro. It's hard. It's hard. I mean, you can guard it, but like it's you gotta really know what you're doing to. And then the, the fact that this game is trash and it's blow bys. You, you know what I'm saying? It's it's hard to you can't just scoot all the way up because they don't get a blow by, bro. It's hard to guard, bro. I mean, I had, I had to put the pure stretch at number one, bro. Just the fact that. That they they can shoot over you. Okay, let me let me tell you something. Let me, let me ask. I'm I'm kind of curious about this. So, why do pure sharps get get um deep range dead out on Hall of Fame, but pure stretches get it on gold? That doesn't make sense. If you're a pure stretch, you should be able to shoot more contested shots, which you can. So you should get it on Hall of Fame. If anything, the sharps should get it on gold. That that just makes sense. But but. I don't know. I don't understand this game, but this game is stupid. And so we gonna go 
top five or top three best tools lineups. Now, this was this was kind of easy, but it's kind of hard at the same time. I'm just based on like like just basing on everything, park stage, everything combined together. So at number three, we got a pure post score and a pure sharp. Simply because a pure post score can ISO whenever it wants, and it still ha it still gets brick wall on gold. So we can set screens for for the sharp, and you can pull up and shoot them. And it still can get the boards because I mean his board, even though they only get hush rebound on bronze. They can still get boards because the the uh, rebound is like an 80. I killed this dude, bro. I destroyed this nigga. But yeah, they can still get boards. And then the number two. Damn, he smacked my shit, bro. Are uh, you, you flopping, bitch? Mm -hmm. Say less, my nigga. <laughs> but number two, we got. Let's try to put this at number two or number one. Nah, yeah. Number two, we got the pure point forward and the pure stretch. Iso ball. You know, you know, it's hard to guard a pure point forward, bro. It, it just, it just is what it is, bro. You can be the best defender, bro. It's hard. It's just hard to guard them, like, especially if they hitting the shots. Well, you can't do nothing. You can't help off the stretch, of course. The, the stretch is basically a decoy, bro. Because a good defender is not going to help off the stretch, so it's basically a decoy to, to keep that dude honest in the corner. Yeah, that's a cheesy lineup. And then you got, damn, I'm so, I'm trying to sauce this nigga up, bro. Look, bro, fouling this shit, bro. But yeah, that's best for the cheese line. Then number one, bro. You got the sharp shooting playmaker and the pure stretch. Now notice how the pure stretch <laughs> got in there twice. That's because it's the best archetype in the game. It, it is what it is. But you got the sharp shooting playmaker and the pure stretch, bro. The reason why I say this, you can ISO ball. If you this dimer on gold, so if you want to ISO, you can stretch and you just sit in the corner. Because sharp shooting playmakers can ISO real good. And if if you want to set screens, you can cheese the screen. Even if screen even if they don't have brick walls on like gold or hollow it doesn't matter. You can still cheese screens and use screens, bro. That's what I like, bro. The stretch is so versatile, bro. Like it can do everything, bro. Oh, I saw what the, how did I make that? Say goodbye, my nigga. I don't know how I made that shit, bro. This a hey, let me get off topic real quick. This pre he finisher, bro. This hoe is cheesy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, this is a bailout build. Whenever you need a bailout, this, this is the build you use. Like in the shot clock, yeah, passing the ball, tap score in the paint, and it's gonna get a contact done. This is a bailout build, bro. Snatch. I was, I was fucking this nigga up. He had a good record too. Let me get back on topic, but yeah, you can ISO ball. You can set the screens and. You got a sharpshooter playmaker, which they know. Do you got sharpshooter playmaker running boost? With a with a, what a 81, 82, 3? Pick and roll my strong goal. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna miss. It's it's like the little things, bro. Like you gotta know how did he block my shot? You gotta know what you're doing. Like you on defense, you really have to clap up on defense, bro. Or you're gonna lose, bro. Like you're gonna lose, bro. It is what it is. It's just hard to go. Stop fouling me, nigga. Bitch ass nigga. These bro. Bro, these niggas always fouling me, bro. Like, I don't understand why they just be reaching, bro. But drop it like if niggas always reaching, bro. If they just reaching just for no reason, my nigga. They just be reaching. I know you can't guard me, cat. That don't mean you gotta reach. Snatch, where you going? I was trying to take his ankle so bad, bro. Look at him reaching. You see how he keep flopping? Bitch, that's why you losing 18 0. Stupid ass nigga. Ho ass boy. But yeah, man. That's my top three best archetype and top three tools lineups and that's just my opinion i mean but y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe it's been your boy ugly man and i'm out